hi everyone in this video we are going to solve a radical equation that is from the mathematics olympia of 2001 before going to solve this equation let's recall a definition that is square root of a square is equal to absolute value of a so on the basis of this equation if we see on the left side under the square root there is a perfect square that is x square plus 4x plus 4 which can be written as x plus 2 all squared which is equal to further x square plus 5x plus 5 uh, using the above definition we can write that is mod of x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 5 so on the basis of definition of modulus function solutions are divided into two cases that is when x is greater than or equal to negative 2 so the absolute value definition of x plus 2 is positive that is x plus 2 equals to x squared plus 5x plus 5 subtracting x plus 2 from both sides so that we have a new equation that is quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. Now factors of these equations are x plus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 0. Either x plus 3 is 0 or x plus 1 is 0. If x plus 3 is 0 then value of x is negative 3 or when x plus 1 is 0 then value of x is minus 1. From the case 1 that x is greater than or equal to negative 2, we have to consider that x is only equal to negative 1. So the only solution in this case is that x is equal to negative 1. For the in other case that is when x is less than negative 2, so the definition of absolute value function or modulus function x plus 2 results negative x plus 2. So, putting in the actual equations, that is negative of x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 5, adding x plus 2 on both sides, so that the new equation is of the form x squared plus 6x plus 7 equals to 0. In this equation, we cannot factorize, so using quadratic formula, directly x is equal to negative 6, plus and minus squared square root of 6 square that is 36 minus 4a that is 4ac that is 4 times 728 simplifying this uh, value we have square root of 8 over 2 now square root of 8 is 2 square root 2 over 2 taking 2 common and taking 2 common then cancelling it with the denominator that is 2 so we have a new value of equation that is negative 3 and plus minus square root of 2 but for the restricted value of x less than negative 2 we have to consider only that value of x is negative 3 negative square root of 2 so on the basis of case 1 and case 2 we have only two solutions that is overall solution of the equation we have only two values of x that is x equals to negative 1 which we have found in case 1 and another value is x equals to negative 3 neg negative square root of 2 so these are the only values thanks for watching this video hope to see you in the next one